2 Samuel chapter 6 verse 6 onwards When they came to the threshing floor of Nacon Usa reached out his hand to the ark of God and took hold of it for the oxen shook it The anger of the Lord was kindled against Usa and God struck him there because he reached out his hand to the ark of god and he died there beside the ark of god and king david was angry because the lord had burst forth with an outburst upon usa this is the word of god written in Second Samuel chapter six verse six onwards. Friends, is it not shocking for you and me to know that Usa was struck by God? I'll give you a, give you a little story about Usa, the history. You know, the Ark of the Covenant. was in Usa's house for 20 years in other words Usa and his family served the lord in the presence of ark of the covenant for 20 years not one or two days Usa's father Abinadab his brothers Elasar Ahio and Usa they served the lord for 20 years and before the ark of the covenant reached the house of abinadab the house of usa it was with philistines it was with philistines in 1050 bc the philistines captured the ark of the covenant before that for 369 years almost it was the ark of the covenant was in shilo under the administration of eli and his son hopinas and pineas yes and here comes a situation where the man who served the lord for 20 years in a second he, the bible says he was struck by the lord the hebrew translation of this says that the lord killed him in a outburst it means the hebrew translation literally says usa exploded into pieces exploded like a bomb exploded like a cracker when the lord hit him what did usa do was usa doing something that displeased god 20 years he was faithful to god 20 years he and his family served god now here in a second god yahweh destroys him kill him and if you read the verse you will see king david was dancing up and down because the ark of the covenant was with the philistines for 7 months after capturing then after much process it's now brought back to jerusalem is now brought back to city where david king david lives so king david was dancing and was very happy the whole crowd was there and suddenly this incident happened it shocked to the old population thousands of people were there it shocked them why why 
Is our God an uh, angry God? God of anger? What happened? What happened is simply to put simply to put it lessons unlearned lessons not learned lessons never learned lessons ignored lessons taken for granted god's word taken for granted god's demands taken for granted god's commandments taken for granted my dear friends in the bible god tells us demands us there is a particular way that we should worship him yes you heard it right even to worship god there is a particular way God has arranged, established that we should worship Him. For example, if you take John 4th chapter, it says, God is spirit. Those who worship Him should worship Him in spirit and truth and such is the worship that pleases God. Such is the worship that pleases Father. So there is a demand from God, from the word of God, that we should worship God in a particular way. It's a command of God. Now, what happened to Uzzah? To understand this, you must go back to Exodus. Exodus 25, 12 to 14. If you read, you will understand. Exodus 25, 12 to 14. There are clear instructions God has given. But it was ignored because of the majority, because of the crowd, because lessons, history repeats, lessons, unlearned, lessons never learned. Because of lessons never learned. Because taking the word of God for granted. See, from the very beginning, mistakes were repeated. Violations were done and punishments were given. Still, people did not learn the ways of God as God wanted. What happened during the time of Haley and his son Phineas and Hopin? Violation happened. What happened during the time of Saul? Saul violated God's commandment. He violated, King Saul violated the command of God because he was supposed to offer the sacrifice in the headship, in the you know leadership of Prophet Samuel, which he ignored because of the crowd, because of the pressure, because of the majority at that time. And again, what happened? Saul lost his kingship. Again, what happened? You take the example of Prophet Eli, his family, they violated. All this David knew. All this Uzzah knew. All this Abinadab knew. As time changed, they forgot. They take it for granted. Oh, it's okay. Yeah. God understands us. It's okay. Yeah. What, important, what is important is humanity. What is important is humanitarian. Don't write in the name of spirituality. Yeah. Our God is a one God. God will understand. No. God is not going to change his word. God is not going to undo his demand. God is not going to change his demands, his commands, his expectation of his uh, on human beings according to our whims and fancies. That's what happened to Uzzah. Exodus, I told you, if you read the word of God in Exodus chapter 25, 12 to 14 says, the Ark of the Covenant has to be carried by the Levites on their shoulder. But here you see, the Ark of the Covenant was carried in a bullock cart. And you see, this was arranged by who? David, King David and God. If you read the Bible, Bible mentions David walked humble before God. David was humble before God. David was doing pleasing things before God. But still, David knew what happened to Saul. David knew what happened to the prophet Eli and his family because they violated God. David knew the commandments of the word of God. David knew what has to be done. But still, at the moment, he forgot. He forgot, not only he forgot, the person who served God, the family who served God for 20 years. I told you, 20 years, the Ark of the Covenant was with the family of Uzzah, the family of Abinadab. They even violated. They, served, they did not 
take the command of God seriously. Actually, to place the Ark of the Covenant in the house of Abinadab itself is a violation of the commandment of God because Abinadab was not a Levite. Uzzah was not a Levite. Eleazar who was serving the you know, Ark of the Covenant in the house of Abinadab was not a Levite. And here, now David says, now this Ark of the Covenant is, uh, was, is, has been in the house of uh, you know, Abinadab for 20 years. Now I'll have to bring it. I want to bring it. I want to please the Lord to the city and put it in the big temple, put it in the proper place. And he arranges the function. He arranges this feast. He arranges this celebration. He arranges this ritual. He arranges this worship in a Philistine way. In a pagan way, in the ways that God did not say he arranged. That is the mistake. God does not approve our celebration, our worship. That is done in Philistine way. Have you seen in churches? I have been seeing this. Churches, priests and pastors are loving this. They first get married in a church. Then they go and get married in another setup with another religious rituals, the Philistine way. How can a church allow this? How can the priest allow this? How can the authorities allow this? God is against this. The Philistine way. If you read Samuel, 2 Samuel chapter 6, verse 6 onwards, the Ark of the Covenant was being carried in a bullock cart, a new bullock cart, as per the order of King David. And the Ark of the Covenant was placed in for 20 years it was on a hilltop so it was coming down in the bullock cart and the oxen a little bit stumbled the ark of the covenant was inside this bullock cart when the oxen stumbled Uzzah thought the ark of the covenant is going to fall so he reached out his hand to prevent the ark of the covenant from falling Uzzah did the good thing because he, in his mind, was doing a good thing because he, nobody wanted the Ark of the Covenant to fall down. So he did not do anything wrong. He did not do anything which is violating. He did not do anything which is inhuman. But before the eyes of the Lord it is wrong. Before the eyes of the Lord it is a violation. That's what the way human sees and the way God sees are different. God sees human beings based on the word of God, based on the Bible, not based on any philosophies, based on the word of God, based on this word of God, based on this word of God, not on human philosophies, not on myths, not on stories. So he reached out Usa and as he touched the Ark of the Covenant, the, the Lord slaughtered him. He burst open, he exploded and died on the spot, shocking hundreds and thousands of people around. The Bible says David got angry. But David got angry there. Usa died there. But still, what is the lesson there? David gets angry, but he still, at that time, he could not, he did not realize that. It took three months for David to realize this mistake. If you read the Bible, you will know that. That actually you know the ark of the covenant can be touched only by the priest the ark of the covenant has to be carried on the shoulder of the levites not on a bullock cart not on a bullock cart see david usa and this team knew what happened see when this philistines when the ark of the covenant was with philistines they gave back. It was bought. You know, Philistines, you know what happened to Philistines? When the Ark of the Covenant was with Philistines for seven months, the Bible says God fought with them through tumors and sickness and they got afraid. They transferred it to Beth Shemites. What happened to Beth Shemites? They did not know. They were a pagan people. They opened the Ark of the Covenant to see what it is. And the Bible says 50,070 people, almost 50,000 people were slaughtered. They were killed by the Lord. Yeah, it's the Bible saying that. And David knew this. Uzzah knew this. Abinadab knew this. Still, they chose to bring the Ark of the Covenant on a bullock cart. That is a mistake. Yes. That's what I said, no? Even if you see in this history, even if you see now in our churches, things are forgotten. 
things are taken it for granted don't fight in the name of the religion don't fight in the name of spirituality you should not fight in the name of religion religion is false religion is against god but word of god you and i are called to stand for as what i said a marriage you know <laughs> happens in a christian way then in happens in another way and all these religious leaders come and bless how can it is how is it possible will god approve this because religious leaders want to please the crowd religious leaders want to please you no know, the elites religious leaders want to you know support so called humanity but which is against god so called understanding which is against god we are called to please the lord now you may quote people may quote no you know man is not made for sabbath sabbath is man made for man but still god also said bible also said i came not to destroy the law but to establish it not to undo the law but to you no know, hold on to it yes there are verses who sa died because the festival the feast the celebration of bringing the ark of the covenant of god was done according to a philistian way you know the god of philistian was dagon d a g a n they worship dagon and they borrowed that principle and they brought the ark of the covenant from abinadab house to the city of david in a bullock cart which was against god which is against god see 20 years usa never thought he will be struck by the lord 20 years he never thought webinadab's family never thought but a second in a second violation of commandments of god now you may have ask a question why this is not happening in this these days this is because this is we are living in a era of new testament because the blood of jesus is continuously interceding for us and this is a very big topic i will not be able to cover now but i will deal with it in another video but still the lord's commands the lord's law will not change does not change bible does not change we cannot change the bible bible will not change word of god cannot change we cannot change the translation we cannot no because we have phd's we cannot rewrite and we you know, can add and edit and this no whatever you do this word of god stands forever god's way of worshiping god is what the command of bible there is a way that god demands us to worship him that is the way we have to worship him other worship will not be approved other worship will entitle us will qualify us to hell as to demonic kingdoms yes that's what the end times that's what that's what written in the chapters of revelations who ever does not worship god according to the command of god according to the word of god will have to face the judgment of god this is what in a short all about revelation and the end times and coming of jesus that's all you may be which whatever religion you are whatever caste you are whatever sect you are whatever phd's you are having whatever no uh, you know researches you have done whatever findings you have done whatever science and technology you have found and explored with discoveries and uh, you know inventions if you do not take the side of god and his way of worship his demands of worship you and i will cannot ex- escape the judgment of god you and i will have to face the second coming of christ you and i will have to face whatever is hap- whatever is told in the word of god in the book of revelations yes what is told why what will happen i will explain again in another part take care till then bye bye